Hello everybody, it's Rikis, this is Mad Sphere, and um, I'm here to look at some teleportation videos. I'm just going to skim by and get my advice and my two cents on it. We're going to start off with this video right here with these um this footage, and I'm going to try to explain it, pause and explain um, how it could be possible and uh, what is needed. Okay, what's going to look? Oh, wait, wait, let me start over again. There's a car coming right there. See, the car came out of nowhere. The car wasn't, um, the car just appeared out of nowhere. And you can tell that it, it was nowhere on the right side. It just came, came out from the center and to the left. And a person pops out right there. So look at this one more time. See, it just comes out from the center of the car to the left. And then this one, a person falls out of the car, which I think it's more of a spiritual thing. Um, I don't know if it's editing or what it is. I'm not too sure what is going on with these photos or these videos, I mean. This film footage. But the thing is, is that the way I see it is that this one right here is more of a maybe a, a spirit or a ghost playing around that's that's what i see it and that teleportation is something that i think is right up there with levitation it is possible to do i think but people uh i would say the le levitation is probably a little more popular because it's um you see teleportation on tv but it's not as popular as flying uh, flying is more popular than teleportation that's what i'm trying to say but the thing is though is that with teleportation it's all about your imagination and, and again, the intention, just like with telekinesis, it's all in a sense of um, wanting and needing for something to occur. Practicing with telekinesis and practicing on Shi energy development will help with teleportation and levitation if you want it. But with teleportation specifically, it's all about imagining and feeling that let's say, for instance, you are um, – there's um, – there's an area in your house that's cold and an area in, in across from your house in, in another room that's hot. So before you practice, you want to go and check the rooms. Let's go check another video, but I'll, I'll explain that. This is the dog right here. We're going to look at this dog. But the thing is, that what I'm trying to say is that what you want to do is that you want to go and feel out the room that's hot. So the cat just, uh, the dog disappeared right there. What, what, what you want to do is that you want to go and feel the room that's hot, get familiar with it, then go to the other room and feel, get familiar with the room that's cold. So you want to get familiar with these two locations and make sure to feel them and understand what is hot and what is cold. Everyone knows that. But you also want to get used to if what else is in there visually, what objects are in there, what objects are in the uh, in the room that's hot specifically, what objects are in the room that's that's in the cold room specifically. You want to f understand the feeling of the room, and you also want to understand the visual stimulation of the room. What is what is in there? Is there a window? Is there a carpet? You know, try walking on your bare feet. That can help a lot with uh, feeling the floor out if it's wooden. If the hot room is wooden, then you're gonna f uh, th then then you're gonna have a better sense of um, developing a sense of memory and familiarity with with uh, associating heat with wooden bare floor with your bare feet and maybe there's two beds and then if the room in the cold room if it's cold the floor is a uh, tile floor you're on your bare feet you want to feel the floor being flat and cold and it's also the temperature is cold so and there's also uh, maybe a, a tv set a flat screen on the wall so that's the thing is that and then, then what you want to do is that Whoa, Tato, you almost lost your let me see And this is the thing too, this is a car that goes through the fence right here. But the thing is though is that what you want to do is that before you go and you want to practice, you have to get familiar with what location you want to be at. See that car went through that fence right there. You want to get familiar. You want to sit inside whichever room you want to pick. You could pick the cold one. Or you could pick the hot one. You could pick the hot room or the cold room. So you want to sit inside one room and 
you want to visualize yourself. Let's say you pick the cold room. You want to visualize and feel yourself in the hot room, feeling that your body is hot, feeling that the heat is flowing over your body, flowing over your skin, the hair of your skin, the, the hairs on your skin. You want to feel that wooden cold, the wooden hot floor on your feet. This is all while you're imagining the hot room in the cold room. So you want to be in the cold room, visualizing and remember and um, being um, remembering how the hot room felt. So that's how teleportation is, is that you want to. If you want to transfer your body from one location to another, you have to learn how to to transfer your the, the physical, the, the energy, feel the energy. And then through imagination, you're able to create a form of teleportation. Because since you're not in that room specifically, you're going to have to, if you're not in a specific location, but you know how that location feels, you can teleport yourself through imagination and through memorization of what, how you remember that location and area feeling like. And those are the first beginner steps of teleportation so that you can transfer yourself from the cold room to the hot room and from the hot room to the cold room and vice versa. So we're going to look at this one right here. Okay. This is like a woman coming out of nowhere from the... There's a woman that appears behind the rear wheel of the semi. See that person right there? Teleporter right there. But it's more, I think it's a ghost or spirit. Let's just show it again right here. A man? Look, look. It's more in the center of this, of the side. Of the semi. That's a spirit right there. That's a, that's a spirit. So that's the thing right there. Is that. That's what I wanted to show. Is that. You have to get familiar. With the place that you want to teleport to. You have to get familiar with those locations. Specifically those locations. So that you can know. So that you can. So that if you want to teleport to that specific location. You have to be familiar with the sensations of the, oh, those places. So that you can transfer your energy there and then your physical body there. Teleporting, basically, is what it is. It takes time, of course, but that's my theory on how you could go about doing that. Recognize the area if it's cold or hot. Recognize the area if it has a grass or dirt. Walk around barefoot on it. Recognize if um, there's trees. Recognize if it's a room that has a toilet in it or has certain pictures or has a, a rug or a video game system, things like that. All the subtleties, visually and emotionally. And then practice on revisualizing yourself being in that location and feeling that location, being that you're there, even though you're like six miles away. And that will be the first steps to allowing you to teleport. So that's basically my theory. That's the video I want to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we're going to see what else. Probably nothing here. That's probably the best one here. It has all the videos all collected. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. God bless. Take care and have a good weekend, everybody.